Hey, Freddie here. Today we're talking about the fighter range from Saruz. This is Saruz's mid-priced um, performance-based suit. Sits in between the Guru and the Fly. Designed for multi-sport use, a little bit of everything all year round. Um, probably more designed a little bit more for your weekend warrior style guys. Um, the kind of people that are going to be in the water occasionally, once or twice a week potentially, but don't want to break the bank with the kit that they're using, but making it as good as they possibly can do. Um, it's also available, worth noting, in the women's range is the Divine Suit. It's essentially a crossover between the two, but the women's version is obviously in completely different colorways. If we have a little, quick run through the suits here, um, the te tech wise, we're using Oysterpreme on the fighter range, so it has moved down from the top end suits down into the more mid price suits as well now. Oysterpreme is Saruza's high performance foam that they're utilizing now in all their wetsuits, or as many of their wetsuits as they can. The idea being they replace as much of the petroleum based foam as they can with well, what was limestone, but they're now replacing limestone with oyster shells. Um, there maintains performance they're still you know it's still incredibly performance based but it's just a little bit more eco credentials uh, within within the range uh, if we look to the exterior of the suit we're also then using the likes of recycled polyester outers on all the suits all the stitching is recycled nylon stitching and all the, the prints and the glues that they're using within the suits are all water-based as well so the suit is entirely solvent free um, coming to the inside of the suit just over here they're using a thermal loop lining. Everything blue here that you can see is what they're calling thermal loop, which again is a 50% recycled uh, polyester interior designed to keep you warm whilst also wicking away all the water when you're trying to dry the, uh, the suit. Maintains flexibility, which is the main thing for a lot of us in the water. We want to maintain or keep hold of that flexibility so the suit is nice and comfortable when we're surfing, especially. Um, we've got heat on tapes. All around the torso down to sort of the top of the knees here for durability and for a little bit extra waterproofing as well. All right. When it comes to the many different options that we have within the fighter range, we've essentially got a chest zip and we've got a back zip option. In the chest zip option, available in 3, 2, 4, 3, and 5, 4, 3 millimeters, so all from your summer range right through to your winter range. The chest zips there are available in black, navy, and what they're calling wine or red. And then they've got a back zip option as well. The back zip's only available in 4.3 and 5.4.3 um, and is available in that wine color and in black as well. Um, back zip specifically is probably a little bit more pinpointed towards the wind sports athletes. Um, if we have a look at the suit here, for instance, all the suits, chest zip, back zip, and everything that, that Saru's produce, they use a black diamond uh, windproof layer on the rear panel of the suits. This is again, if you're sat surfing, which is what most suits are generally designed for. Uh, it's just to protect you against the wind a little bit to stop you getting wind chill too quickly. Because of windsurfing, kite surfing, winging, uh, we get that on the front as well. So the black, um, Diamond material has been used on the front as well there. It's been well known again for a long time that windsurfers get a lot of cramp in their arms uh, because of how long they're holding onto their booms for. So there is an anti tetany cut on the, the forearm of the black back zip suit to prevent that and to prevent the buildup basically in your forearms. And then on the calves, we've got two drainage bungs to allow water to, to drain out and two straps which also stop the water from firing up, which especially from kite surfing or anything like that, that's what we're fairly conscious of. Um, it's a great suit, like I said, useful for whatever it is you're going to be doing in the water, surfing, kiting, absolutely everything. That's the fighter range.